It's time for SHL News. So we just finished off week seven. In our first game, we had Sport Corner Titanium versus Sukumvit Spitfires in a rematch of last week's game. Last week, Sport Corner Titanium and Sukumvit Spitfires had a great game which went into overtime with Remo Nefenegar of Sport Corner Titanium getting the game-winning goal at the two-minute mark. To pull off another win, Sport Corner Titanium needed John Silkimets Cheknovsky to continue his streak of putting the puck in the net, as well as strong games from Zach Garofolo, Yoni Hainonen, and Remo, and for Gabor Toth to stay strong in the net. For Sukhumvit Spitfires to get back on the winning track, they needed Adrian to get back to putting the puck in the net, as well as strong games from Donny Kerfoot, and for their forwards to start finding the openings to put the puck in the net as well. Also, with Jason Kotzmeyer being week by week with an injury, they need solid net minding from one of the league's backup goaltenders. The first period saw Sport Corner Titanium score three unanswered goals. The first goal of the game came at six minutes by Silky Mitz, which was assisted by Yari Eikonainen and Zach. The second goal came at 2.45, this one by Zach, which was assisted by Remo. The last goal of the period came with 30 seconds left, this one by Dougal Monk, which was assisted by Yari and Arkady Goncharov. The second period had what looked to be a comeback with Adrian for Sukhumvit Spitfires ending his scoring drought by scoring at six minutes, which was assisted by Brad Wilson and Donny. At five minutes, Sport Corner Titanium started another three-goal scoring streak with a goal from Silky Mitz, which was assisted by Remo. The next goal from Silky Mitz, which made his hat trick, was assisted by Mike Wilson. The final goal of the period was with 30 seconds left in the period coming from DJ Sherman, which was assisted by Silky Mitz and Zach. The third period saw strong fronts from both goaltenders until 4.45 where Mike Wilson scored for Sport Corner Titanium, which was assisted by Zach. For the night, Sport Corner Titanium had 27 shots, with Sukhumvit Spitfires having 15. There were three penalties in the game. The first one was in the first minute of the second period, an interference penalty by Adrian. The other two penalties came from Remo and Zach. Remo's penalty was a hooking at 15.30 and Zach's was at 11.40 for holding. A Rolling Stone player of the game went to DJ for his strong all-around play and his goal in the second period. I had a chance to chat with DJ after the game. I have the Rolling Stone player of the game from the Sport Corner Titanium, DJ. Congratulations. Hey, thanks a lot. So seven to one. Wow, what a game! Yeah, it was. Uh, our guys just were really on it today. Everybody's hustling, back checking, skating, shooting. I mean, 24 shots. You know. I know that was incredible. So uh, it was really good to see everybody come together like that. Yeah. It was a great game. Fun to watch. What's the plan for next week? Uh, or for the next game? Same thing. Skate the whole three periods. We've been last few games before this we take off the second period because we've got a nice lead and then next thing you know we're in overtime barely hanging on so just want to keep skating yeah. excellent well congratulations again all right thank you in our second game of the night we had aware facing off against hooters nana which was a rematch from last week's game where aware blew out hooters nine to three Aware went into the game hoping to build on their amazing game from last week to do this they needed eves gibralt to keep up his amazing work in the net they also needed Patrick Lumbeck to keep up his amazing helper work as well as more points from Brandon Vick, Devin Michael, and Darren Boodle. Hooters Nana needed better goaltending than they had last week and hoped for Dream to be back in the nets, but unfortunately, Dream is out for the time being and their backup in Lance wasn't available, which left them with Gabor to fill in for them again. On the plus side, Hooters Nana had Andy Bryan and Justin St. Denis back in the lineup. In the first period, things were pretty back and forth with great plays from both teams and both goaltenders staying strong in the nets. At 11 minutes, Sebastian Ranger was called for hooking, which led to the first goal of the game for Aware, which was by Corey Day, assisted by Patrick. At 8 minutes, Jordan Newman was called for tripping, which led to the Aware's second goal of the game, which was by Tan, and that was assisted by Corey and Patrick. In the second period, Hooters Nana answered back with a goal by Michael White at 12.45, which was assisted by Paul Stardart and Justin. At 11.30, Sebastian tied it up for Hooters with the assist going to Andy Bryan. From the second period on, Gabor sealed up the net, not letting in another goal for Hooters Nana. At 5.30 in the third period, Paul scored the game-winning goal with an assist going to Andy. 
The final score was Aware 2 with 25 shots and Hooters Nana 3 with 24 shots. The Rolling Stone player of the game was Michael, and I had a chance to catch up with him after the game. I have the Rolling Stone player of the game, Mike White from Hooters Nana. Congratulations. Thanks, man. I actually go by Michael, but My- no worries. Okay, Michael. 3-2, uh, to two, what a hard-fought game. It was. We had uh, two garbage penalties against us in the first period, so they had two power play goals. But we, uh, as I say, we had a, we dug deep and we came back, had, a, had three goals to win it, so it was a good feeling, yeah. And especially after last week's huge loss. Yeah, last week we got our asses kicked. Can I say that, actually? Anyway, yeah. we got our, um, it's a good thing it's not aggregate, aggregate as well, but uh, yeah, it does, it's, not, it's, it's, it's the win. It's the win. That's what we want. All right, well, congratulations again. Thanks, man. Okay, we'll see you at Rolling Stone. See you guys. For week eight, we have two games on Thursday night and then two games on Sunday night. For our Thursday night games, at 8.30, we have Hooters Nana going against Sport Corner Titanium. Hooters had a strong game on Sunday, and they will need it again with, from Andy, Michael, Justin, and Paul. They also need some strong goaltending like they had on Sunday. This matchup against Sport Corner Titanium might be a bit of a personal one as they are the only team to beat Sport Corner Titanium, not once, but both times that they have faced them, and they will want to keep, up, keep that streak alive. Sport Corner Titanium is on a two-game winning streak, and they will be looking not only to keep up their win streak, but they will want to finally beat the only team in the league that they have lost to. To be able to beat them, they will need some amazing net play from Gabor, as well as points from Remo, Zach, and Silky Mitz will be looking to keep up his point streak. In our second game at 9.30, we have Sukhumvit Spitfires facing off against the Aware. Sukhumvit Spitfires will be looking to break their two-game losing streak against the Aware, and to do this, they'll need some, a solid goaltender sitting in their net. They will also need Adrian to pick up where he left off on Sunday and keep making points, as well as Donnie stepping up and their forwards to start putting more points on the board as well. Aware will be looking to make up their loss on Sunday, and to do this, Eves is going to have to remain strong between the pipes, and they will need their top points players, Patrick, Tan, Brandon, Corey, and Devin, to continue to be strong and put more points in the net for them. Looks to be some exciting matchups on Thursday, and I'll see you at the rink.